we're going to show you how I get my potatoes ready. Um, every year I get my potatoes. The eyes, I call these eyes, I believe other people call them their chittings, and I'm not too sure. But I say eyes always. They're always never that really that big yet. Okay, you can increase the size of these, which will help um, further grow your plant faster when you put them in the ground. I'm gonna get these all out of the bags, get them situated. I'm gonna make sure that all the eyes are up. You're not laying on any of them, so that's a big thing I'm gonna do. Everything's up on the eyes. Got a bunch right here. So I'm just gonna lay it like that. We wanna have airflow, we don't want them bumping up against each other. There you go, here's some good eyes. We're gonna put that there. Separate that a little bit. You can do these on um, seed racks if you want. You can do them whatever, as long as they're, you're going to have airflow all around them. Let's go do this. Now, <coughs> you can do these several, a couple different ways. Um, uh, I first started out using paper towels. Okay. Paper towels, you're, you're going to wet them, and then you just lay them on top, okay? problem with paper towels is, is they dry out really fast. I mean, a couple hours, and they're dry. You don't want that. You don't want these drenching wet. You want them moist. Now, I've got a couple towels here, and this is what I do every time, all right? I'm wringing them out to where there's nothing coming out of them, guys. These were sopping and wet. There's nothing in them, all right? I'm going to take this and I'm just going to lay it right on top. Just like that. Okay, you see just a little bit of water coming out of that. That's fine. All right, we're just going to lay it right on top just like that. Okay, now we're just going to leave this alone. And I, what I'll probably do is, uh, probably because of the warmer temperatures, I'm going to have them set in here in the garage. And um, actually, where I'll probably set it will be on top of my brooder bin right there, where there's all kinds of airflow. Um, I'll probably check this tomorrow morning, see if these are um, damp. Um, you can either put them back in the faucet again if you want, squeeze them out, and we're just going to keep these damp. Um, I'll come back, maybe you'll say, it'll be every two days I'm going to check this out, and we're going to see what it looks like how they're producing, how they're growing. And I'm gonna show you, I'll give you, uh, uh, when I see a major difference, I'll do a quick video and I add it to this one. All right, let's check these potatoes. It's been four days. This is in the morning. I've been uh, getting these wet every morning and let's see what's going on, see what they look like. All right, you can tell right away Move that over here. You guys can see, I'm, I'm just start down this end. There was barely anything on them. Look at that. Looking a lot better. Those are looking good. There you go. We'll go right on down the line. Looking good. That one's a little slow, but we're still doing good. Same as that one's a little slow, but they are doing better. See? That one may not have changed too much, but they're a lot better than what they were. All right, so get them some airflow, move that stuff around. 
This is just faster than using a squirt gun, squirt bottle. I'll make sure they're nice and wet. Looks good, then I'll just squeeze it out. Uh, put them on this group. Do the next one. And that's it. Alrighty guys, I'm going to show you something here. Here's my potatoes. You seen me get these things trying to grow some more eyes, bigger eyes. It has been two weeks when I started this. But I have to get these potatoes in the ground. They got to go now. But as you can see, they were almost nothing. They were smaller about that right there when I first started. Let me get some light on it right there. Alright, they've done pretty good looking really good so what we're going to do is you can see them all they look good all these need to be planted with the eyes up all right because that is what's going up out of the ground okay now i'm going to do something different that i have never done before um here let's look turn you this way okay this is where i've always planted my potatoes right here for the last three years every year during the year i literally you can see grass clippings i put grass clippings i put leaves in here i put um either goat manure in here chicken manure it gets all ground in here i did a video here uh i can't remember now we'll just go a month ago me tilling this in again yes that's what we've done now i'm gonna do something different as i said um, I have one of my favorite channels, uh, Simply Jan talked to me about putting alfalfa pellets in the garden bed. Now, I've never heard of that, but guess what? I am game to trying anything to improve. I have a rule. We never fail. We just learn. This could be something absolutely perfect for me. I don't know. But here's what I also also did. I went ahead and tried to do some research to find out anybody else that does this. Well, guess what? Uh, am I Gardner? He does this and he talks about it. I didn't know this. Hey, I'm game. All right, we're going to do this. Um, now, I guess the next thing to do is to go ahead and we're going to go ahead. Oop. Hey, don't ever step on a rake because it pops you in the back like that. <laughs> um, okay. They talk about just, you know, getting this, some soil on here, just a little bit, not much. And that's what I'm going to do. Just enough to, the potato not to sit directly on it. Throw some soil on it. I'm going to do this all the way down. Then we're going to plant my potatoes. All right, we've got it all stirred in. You can still see some, but it looks like to me that they say just lightly stirred in, which we did all the way down. Eh, look at my little zigzag. Eh, we'll be all right. So now we're gonna grab my potatoes. Um, I have roughly 26 foot long bed. All right, um, hey, you can cut on these big ones, a potato if you want. Let it sit for two days or so, one or two days, and then put that in as two separate potatoes. But guys, I've already planted on how many potatoes I'm going to put in this garden. I'm planting them roughly between a foot and a half to two feet apart. So I should have two, four, six, eight, 14 of them. Okay, I should have enough to go right across this thing with no problem and um, get them planted. Let me get them in the ground. Let me show you what I'm going to do. Remember I told you a minute ago. These have got to go up. So that's what we're going to do. All right. First one going here. And all you got to do is just like that. That's it. Completely. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, start continuing on. Go all the way through. I've got them all in. Some I spaced about the same all the way through as you can see. Now we're going to squirt them down with water real quick. Make sure the soil down there is wet. And then we'll go ahead and start filling in on top of these potatoes. And then also, 
my next thing you see that bale of hay right there that goes right on top of the dirt when I'm done and happy's right oh right over there she was where my point now I can't see right there she was in my truck laying down a minute ago <laughs> all right like magic I'm done <laughs> I'm gonna wet this down too just get it nice and wet before we cover it with hay and start it out with some moisture on these. Let me go ahead. You guys don't want to watch me water this down, but that's what I'm going to do. Bring you back in a few minutes. All right, I've got it watered in and I now got the hay on there. How's it look? <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to spray this hay along. I've got some more. I've got another two of those. I may not need them. If I do, I've got it. But we're going to spread this hay right on top of these, this whole row all the way across. All right, oh, let me put some here too. But you can see it's all done. And uh, let me grab that so I don't forget. All righty, there you go. It's looking fantastic. Nice and tidy and uh, you don't want to lay clumps on there. You want it at a loose fit, okay? You lay some more straw hay on top as we go. Right now, we're going to really get this wet down. Let's We'll see what the, how this alfalfa pellets work. I won't know until we pull them out of the ground. But that's how I did mine this growing season, 2024. And uh, I'm willing to try anything once. And we'll go from here. We'll just get this nice and wet. All right. You all have a great day. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for commenting. I greatly appreciate it. And if you would, give me a thumbs up. Hey, share too. That would help me out a little bit. All right, guys. Take it easy. Stay safe. Bye.